Florida and a telecommunication major, and she is incredible. As many as you know, uh, Jocelyn's first Sunday was uh, last Sunday. <laughs> and so get to know her. I know that probably hasn't given a lot of you very much time, but what an incredible young woman we really have here in our midst. Um, I want to share a scripture in Isaiah. Come on, Chanel. You'll be able to ask her more things personally about her life and why, <laughs> even up here now, she's in tears. But yeah. in Isaiah 30, in verse 18, it says, Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Mm. Therefore, he will rise up and show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait on him. People of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. How gracious he will be when you cry for help. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes you will see them. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk it. And I'm so grateful that God has brought you here, that you're willing to walk in the way that, that your heart is just so humble to Scripture. Um, so trusting of you people. I know so many relationships are so new for you. But I'm just in awe of your trust in God and in the way that you see him leading you through every situation of life. Even though you may have the bread of adversity and the water of affliction for a little while, it's okay because God has led you to, to the right place. And so Amen. We're going to have some of the women share and then give Jocelyn a chance to share as well. The other day, yesterday, I read you this part. I'm going to read you um, Psalm 118, <coughs> verse 19 through 21. And it says, Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. Mm -hmm. I read this to you because I was saying yesterday, you know, in the midst of everything that was going on, the, most, the thing that you said most was thank God that he led you here. Thank God that he led you to him, into his arms, basically. And that's just something that really just softened in my heart. And just to see that you truly, truly are seeking the Lord with all your heart, you know. And just for, for everything that you were still going through, you were still thankful and you were still joyful. Amen. And mm. It's okay. Amen. You know it's going to be okay because you're mm. in your hands. And it's that's right. Yes. Amen. 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 Yep. Amen. 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 Hi guys, um, Jasmine has grown so close to our hearts that every time she cries, we're like hooked in the back. <laughs> um, but the scripture I want to share with you is 1 Peter 2, 24-25, the New Living Translation. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. Um, you constantly kept saying through your studies, this is so hard, but where could I go? Right. Um, but in verse 25 it says, by his wounds you are healed. Mm. Once you were like sheep who wandered away, but now you have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of your souls. Amen. So I'm just so grateful that we get to share this journey with you, that you were vulnerable with your life. Um, to see how God has transformed is incredible. I just love you. So, it's only been a week that I Like Chanel said, that you trusted us and that you've humbled yourself to see that Christ suffered on the cross for you and are allowing yourself to be healed by him. So, Amen. I love you and you could go. <laughs> Amen. Right. Give to the Holy so. Spirit and be added to God. Amen. 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 